What are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you recording me? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, wow. Well, I like our conversation as it's going thus far. Which conversation? The one about the naked guy or the one about the drug problem in the U.S.? We're still not sure what it is. No, but seriously, though. Like, I have friends that have thought out plans of how much marijuana would help our state and the deficit it's in. Oh, yeah. Where simply they can make money from the farmers themselves harvesting it. It's not like we don't have enough farming land here. And we can pretty much grow anything in this state. Yeah. And then the people buying it. And then the taxes off the people buying it. And then the supplies needed for the buying it. And then the, all the glass blowers, you know, all the paper factories we have here to make papers for them. Fucking everything. Like, if you think about it, everything we have in our state, we can use towards marijuana and the growth and the production of it. And not like, come on, they're not going to rip you off hella on the taxes of that shit. So, you know, in two years, our state would actually be doing well than it should be. Yeah. Instead of, how many years have we been in deficit now? Um, my whole many? life? Yeah. Well, I mean, when you think about it, the uses, whether it be, you know, medicinal purposes, or even just, you know, the fact that you can make... Have, you know, you can make clothes, you can make paper, you can make almost every product that we use on a daily basis. You know, there's not one ounce of, you know, marijuana in itself that could not be used. You know, none of it would go to waste. You know, it, it's retarded that they're being the way they are because it's like, okay, on one hand, they, they're kind of going towards, you know, decriminalizing and legalizing, but more of the decriminalizing, it's like, okay, so you're not going to get in as much trouble if you have it. You're still not supposed to have it. People still are like, oh, you know, okay, I got my green card. Half the cops will still give you a hassle over it, you know, because it's, state and federal laws aren't on the same page with that, and even, you know, county and state laws aren't in a lot of places. In a lot of places, city, county, state, and federal are all on different pages with it. You know, and it just, it's really retarded because when you think about it, like, I do understand and agree, I think that there is a point where once you've smoked a certain amount, no, you probably shouldn't drive, you know, and that's why I like some of the states that are getting the laws where, you know, if you have a certain amount, you're going to get the same trouble as if, you know, you were driving drunk. But, you know, it's like, okay, if they were to take those measures and stuff, it'd be no different. It goes back to our previous conversation. You know, the alcohol, if you look at the way they do alcohol, you should be able to go, maybe be a certain age, but I don't think it should be like 21, honestly. You know, but you should have, even if it is a certain age, you should have a place you can go, you know, and get it or whatever, and be able to take it home and stuff. And you shouldn't get in trouble for it because it can help you from a medical standpoint. It can help you from, you know, simply a social standpoint, as bad as that sounds, you know, but there are a lot of people that are a little too social, smoke some weed, they're better. They're, a lot, which actually I guess does still go to a medical standpoint because it's the psychological effect and all that, but really there's no downside to just letting people do it. They do need to have you know, some guidelines, I think, as with anything, even food, they have guidelines for it, you know, but there is no downside, and it would help bring everywhere around the country the money they need, you know, it would help people get along, <laughs> you know, we, we could have, we could have a, a political party and invite everyone. <laughs> I'm not even stoned. <laughs> but seriously, no, we want comes and comes again. Well, that's when we never mind. <laughs> but no, yeah, seriously, like there's no downside to it, and people are retarded when they're like, "Oh, weed is such a bad thing," because it's not 
really, I think with any substance, it's not the substance itself that's a bad thing. It's the misuse of it. And I firmly believe that with anything in the world. Because there are some people, I wouldn't care if they were high out of their mind. I would talk to them, but I will not talk to them if they've been drinking at all. Because it's the misuse of it and the person themselves, not, you know, whatever they're doing. Because some people are just as bad after drinking a beer as they are after doing crack or, you know, whatever. You know, there, there's there's ups and downs to everything in the world and every person is going to be different as to, you know, the effects and all that. And that's why there are people that will argue with me, but I know people personally that when they smoke weed, they get extremely violent. It's uncommon, but it can happen you know, which is actually a sign of a medical disorder, I found out later, but, um, you know, it's the simple fact of if you manage it and have guidelines to it, you could turn anything into a resource that would help instead of it being something that you're frowned upon for and looked down on and told, oh, don't do that, it's bad. Why well, get looked down on for something that just makes you fucking happy most of the time? Like, yeah, I want to be happy, so I smoke pot. I want to feel good, so I smoke pot. So we're going to look down on you because you want to be happy. Well, yeah, and it's like, okay, look at, okay, my sister having MS. The way her body hurts, I guarantee it would help her if she smoked weed. I'm pretty sure she never would, even if they completely legalized it, just because of her personal beliefs. But, okay, me, I'm starting to kind of follow in her footsteps as far as health goes. I have seizures. Same here. That helps me. You know, it helps. On some hands, it'll make me twitch a little bit more sometimes, but it helps the constant feeling like I'm convulsing. You know, make it where maybe my finger will twitch out. Okay, big deal. It doesn't hurt, though. I don't have to stop myself from going into convulsions all the time. You know, it actually you know, helps me a lot. I don't know about you, but after my seizures, my whole body fucking hurts, and I am extremely extremely exhausted. Uh, yeah, I will. Like, I, I can sleep for, seriously, pain. I can sleep for like six or seven days. When I got out of the hospital from the first seizure, I slept for three days. Yeah, and my, like, my whole body will just ache. Like, I have a, like, my entire body is bruised. Exactly. You know, and I can't hardly move. I have no energy to move whatsoever. You know, and if I smoke weed after that, yeah, on one hand, I still feel extremely tired, you know, but I can get the rest I need to recuperate instead of, you know, laying there and being like, ow, ow, you know, it's like, okay, I still feel sore, I still feel stiff and all that, but I can relax enough, you know, to actually let my body recover so I can get on with my life instead of laying in bed going, hmm, am I going to have enough strength to stop if I start going into a seizure again? You know, plus as odd as, as odd as it is, um, some types of weed, like you, I get a little paranoid, but um, I also have panic disorder, and if I get the wrong type of weed, you know, obviously, yeah, I panic a little bit more, but if, you know, just generally smoke full weed, it helps me with that. I won't panic as much. It's like walking over the South Side Bridge. I honestly freak out every time. Yep. I know it's not a very high possibility, but I know there is a possibility it could fall while I'm walking over it. What if there's an earthquake while I'm walking over it? I'm going in the water, and I don't like water. I love swimming. I hate water. <laughs> don't know how that works, but it does. I walk over the bridge when I'm stoned, especially stoned, put some music in. I'm fine. You know, I'm in a zone. I'm just, like, looking at, you know, how beautiful the water looks, you know, and the scenery and stuff. I'm not thinking about, oh, God, what if it breaks? What? That's fucking concrete, okay? Concrete is heavy. How is it standing? I understand, like, there's pillars and all that, but what if one of them cracked? That's a lot of weight to be or held up little, by a crack. Or when you look at the gap in between the walkway and the road where you can definitely fall through it. Yeah, hello. And what if the sidewalk 
like during that part? What if that part just falls off? Because 